Okay, and we are live. Um, welcome everyone for this uh, Java tip of the week. Uh, we're doing something different today. We're actually doing it live. Um, and we have here with us uh, one, my first invitee ever. So welcome, Georgian. Uh, Georgian's gonna talk to us about NetBeans following up the last uh, Java tip of the week I have about IntelliJ. So we thought about doing some stuff about uh, IDEs. Jonathan, can you please introduce yourself very quick? Hi, Roberto. Thanks a lot for having me. Uh, my name is uh, Geertjan. I'm a, a product manager for NetBeans, um, first under Sun Microsystems and now in Oracle. And uh, it's great to be here and show you some stuff in NetBeans. Awesome. Let's uh, dive, uh, dive straight in uh, into NetBeans. So please start showing us what NetBeans does. OK, so um, I, I'm on your uh, GitHub repo. And you have this very nice uh, Angular Java EE project here. So I just click on this copy to clipboard here, and then I hop into NetBeans. So here I'm in NetBeans, and I can go to Team, Git, Clone, and then just stick in that um, URL to your Git, and then click Next, and then I can connect to the repository and then do a checkout. So I've done that, and what I get is exactly this. And I have this nice project structure. Of course, um, you have uh, Maven as well as a Bower, so you have this mixed um, HTML, Java EE uh, structure. Uh, the first thing that's really cool before we look at uh, navigating through the source code is um, that we can take a look at the palm. And we can see a graph to get a quick view of uh, which dependencies are used. And we can see an effective palm, so if we're using a parent palm, we can see where everything comes from. Um, and also, we can make use of uh, code completion on um, the, uh, the versions that are used here. So, and we can do, um, uh, we can download here the related uh, metadata, and then we can see which versions are available for each of the dependencies and the plugins that we're using. Awesome. Uh, so, um, what's especially cool is whenever I do a build or a clean and build and, and these kinds of project commands, what happens there depends on what I have defined. So um, you can see here I have a actions tab. And you can see a build project. Um, that is a Maven install. So it uses the install goal from my Maven palm. When I do a clean project, I'm doing a Maven clean using the, the, the Maven clean from the palm in my project. So all my project level commands can be mapped directly to Maven uh, goals which means when I press F6, so when I press F6, I'm actually doing Maven install. So all my keyboard shortcuts can also be mapped to, um, to Maven goals. The other cool thing is that when I look in the project structure here, um, you know, nothing has been added here. So this is a, a, an XML configuration file with some, um, some stuff in here, but you don't see any proprietary stuff. There's nothing that was added to make this um, a NetBeans project because NetBeans just detects that there's a pump file, and then it uses the pump file to define um, the project structure. Um, and this is the only file that was added. It just points to a couple of places, you know, where is Glassfish installed, um, those kinds of things. But it's, it's very minor. But um, the, POM, the, the, the POM is natively used to define what you see in this project structure here. Um, so that's just, to, just the basic project structure. But you can also see that we have um, included in here the, um, the web project. So you can see we have our CSS, and um, uh, in here we have all our jQuery, you know, our Bower, our dependencies, our Angular, everything is in here. Our scripts are in here. Um, and we have our entry point, um, our RESTful web services are also uh, visible here with, with the calls um, uh, providing the entry points into the application. So we have a very nice overview of everything, including the Bower libraries, the NPM libraries, very clean structure, um, and the dependencies that we're using, um, the other sources from Maven, and it's also, so everything is very cleanly uh, visible. So we have a yeah. very clean uh, understanding of what's going on. Yeah, I was not aware that NetBeans had like the, that tighter integration with Bower and NPM. That's really yep. awesome. And also, so now I've run the project, right? I just click Run, and now I go to, to Chrome, And in Chrome, here is my deployed application. Now, I have this uh, little plugin installed, so I can map um, my uh, Chrome browser to NetBeans. So I'll just put them next to each other a little bit so you can see that. 
directly next to each other. Here is this, and here is that. And here is this. So here they are. Now, when I click on items in there, I can see where those items are found in the live browser DOM. So as I click in the browser, I can see the related item directly in here. So let's say I want to change this. OK, so here's the H1. I go to source. OK, so here is that Java EE Angular application. Mm -hmm. I change this here to awesome, and I do a save. And, and what you see is that the, um, that the application updates. So normally, it would be quite hard to find where this is found without doing some kind of text search and things like that. Exactly. Um, but um, it's very easy to identify where items are found and just jump into the source and find where everything uh, comes from. Also, when I'm in CDT, um, so let's inspect. Um, so if I'm using CDT, there is a special tab in here for NetBeans, which means when I make any changes in CDT, they're automatically saved back to NetBeans. So, so Chrome Developer Tool integration directly um, from, from CDT to NetBeans. Also very useful. Is that only available for Chrome, or is yes. it also available for other uh, browsers? No, only Chrome. OK. Anyway, it's very cool. Yeah. OK, so let's do some, uh, some searching. So I am um, uh, using the IntelliJ uh, keyboard shortcuts. So there's a key map here. And I'm using IDEA. So um, when I do Control N, I get my go to type. And I can type what I want. Or I can type uh, P and then uh, R, uh, you know, person. Um, I can put in some, uh, some stuff in here. Uh, P, uh, and I, you can see here it, it does some fuzzy searching mm -hmm. um, and um, open something. But also when I do Control Shift N, um, I get go to file and I can find a particular file. I can also open it at a certain line. Um, now I'm on line 30. Um, so, and if I want to do a, a, a search through everything, I uh, do Control I. I'm in the top here and I type person. And now I can see that um, my, my recent searches, so I've looked for find persons and save person recently. I can mm -hmm. go to types. Um, I can go to symbols, which includes um, inside of JavaScript. So I can um, jump into related, um, you can see here in JS stubs, there is personal bar. I can jump into there. Um, and here, this, this persons is in JavaScript. So you can see now the, a related JavaScript file opens with scope persons. Um, so that's really convenient for navigating uh, through my files. That's right. Now, you, you also, I think you also like Control W. So I'm doing Control W right now. This is Control W. Yeah, yeah I, I think it wasn't one of the most, uh, that's one of the, uh, well, the, the, the shortcuts that I use the most. Yeah. It's, uh, nothing can beat that to select stuff around. Yep, it's really cool. And also, um, um, you have, um, Control Shift Y, what is it? Um, the uh, history, I uh, can't remember. What is that in uh, IntelliJ? Um, if I do, a, I copy this, and I copy oh, this. Uh, the, it's uh, for, for Mac, it's uh, Command Shift V. Oh, yeah, OK, here it is, Command Shift V. Yeah, and here I can see uh, my, my. So I'm, I'm actually using only IntelliJ IDEA keyboards now. Control W, mm -hmm. Control Shift V, Control N, this is Control N. This mm -hmm. is control shift. This is control shift N. So all your all your keyboard shortcuts you just can can continue using. And plus, it looks like IntelliJ idea as well. Yeah, with the black There's one. A, I, I really yeah. love the the, the the black display because uh, it doesn't hurt your eyes that much. Yeah, yeah. This is the darker look and feel. So that's and um, so that's basically I would say the key features of NetBeans. So the the what's most important is it's free. It's open source. It's very well integrated. So all these different technologies, front end, um, back end, Java, JavaScript, are all integrated. You have integration with the Chrome browser. You can use your IntelliJ IDEA keyboard shortcuts. Um, and you can do searches exactly like you're used to doing. Um, and you can do Control I for search all. And you can see in the top there where you can do your search. Um, there's also, let's, so let's look for a find person. So in here, we can find um, his find person. 
Um, okay, let's see. Find persons. Okay, so the recent one is not found. And go to symbol. Okay, here it is. Mm -hmm. uh, for, I'm not sure where we. Oh, here it is. Find persons. But I think there was one where you were doing some work on um, with the curry list. Oh, uh, yeah, there was like uh, some, there is a, a shortcut that allows you to like see all the methods on a class and then you can jump between methods. Yeah, sure. So um, control F12. So here it is. So here's find persons, find persons, get person. I think it, that, that was the one that you're referring to. Yeah. So here is um, here's safe person and, you know, we can do um, all of our... Um, so do you have, uh, I think there was a curry list. Yeah, the, 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 the list is on, on that find persons over there, but I just, uh, no, on the, on the top method. So on that find persons over there, you have a query get result list. So yep. you can extract a, vari a variable uh, here, here. Right. Uh, on that. Yep. So, so here we can extract some variable. Um, uh, and um, here's our result list, and we can do here, we can do a four, and you can see all the different uh, for loops that you can use. Mm -hmm. um, you can also just, um, you know, you could um, extract this, this ver into a variable, so um, uh, insert code or uh, in refactor. You can see all the refactorings have a keyboard shortcut. Yes. So we can extract this to a particular variable or to a field or to whatever we want to do. Um, via keyboard shortcuts, so it's very keyboard shortcut uh, orientated. Yeah. Um, and there is a, a keyboard shortcuts card uh, here, which lists all the NetBeans uh, keyboard shortcuts. So if you want to learn those, um, they're all um, in this document. Yeah, awesome. I mean, if you, since you are using the idea shortcut commands, if someone, for instance, wants to move from IntelliJ to NetBeans, they shouldn't have any problem. Yep, That's absolutely right. And there's a lot of plugins that are very uh, handy, um, but the, the default NetBeans is pretty good. It has everything you basically need, but there's a lot of other ones. These are all approved by the community. Um, mm -hmm. If you go to the NetBeans homepage, uh, so this is NetBeans homepage, you go to plugins, and here are many other ones. You can see that Darkula one is one of the most popular ones right now. Um, oh, awesome. uh, so there's heaps of uh, plugins that you can uh, look at. Uh, very active community. Yes, yeah, uh, so you, you mentioned that NetBeans is completely free and open source. So uh, me as a developer or as an enthusiast, uh, how hard will it be for me to contribute something to NetBeans? Um, so what you would do normally is you would create a plugin and you would upload it here. And if it becomes very popular, what we do is we consider um, integrating it into the source code. So we have discussion with the uh, plugin provider and with the community, and we see which ones are valuable. So for example, um, Wildfly is contributed by Red Hat. So we have so you can add server, and this Wildfly used to be a plugin on the plugin portal, but a lot of people really liked it, so we talked with uh, Red Hat engineers, and now it's a standard part of NetBeans. So it's, it's, a, it's a process with the community. Okay, and when that happens, our, I mean, uh, is the maintainers that still maintain, or the original uh, writers that still maintain the plugin, or is it yes. like, okay? Ideally, yes, that would ideally happen, yeah. That's a, that would be the perfect way to do it. Um, and there's lots of documentation. There's many tutorials. Um, there's a weekly newsletter. There's a NetBeans day somewhere um, every month um, in the world. So uh, tomorrow there's NetBeans day in uh, in Munich. So if you look on the calendar, um, there's NetBeans day in Munich tomorrow. Uh, and there's NetBeans day India next month. And there's <coughs> NetBeans day UK coming up. NetBeans day France, um, you know, Anywhere where people are interested in uh, in free and open source uh, tooling, you know, we really want to support the open source community. That's what we are what we're there for. Oh, awesome! Um, uh, so that's that's NetBeans. Okay. 
thank you so much for uh, this demo about NetBeans. I'm very excited of what you show us here. I'll definitely have a look and try it out myself. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for our viewers to watch us. We went a little over on your usual time, but that's pretty fine because we actually have Jerton here and my first uh, guest invitee to show us this. So I'm, I'm very glad to have you here with me. And maybe we can make something uh, more in the future. So thank you so much. Thanks very much for having me. OK. Bye, guys. See you next time. Bye.